Malthale is the most mysterious member of the Angiers Council. He is an intelligent and noble being who was once said to cherish all life. But the Archangel is later described as melancholy, evasive, and at times even frightening. Perhaps this is because he is bound to the truth of all things. His wisdom comes from seeing the myriad emotions and experiences that connect the universe. I believe Malthael's demeanor can be better understood through the following tract written by the mortal sage Furisage, who sought out wisdom for the entirety of his life. In all things there are two sides, motion and stillness, emptiness and fullness, lightness and dark. Alone each side is incomplete but together they form the totality of existence. Only through embracing the oneness of all things can true wisdom be obtained. Malthale can at times be ponderous and slow to action, but he is revered by the other angels for his insight. He rarely speaks and has thus become known as the silent angel, but when he does, all those nearby stop to listen. His voice thrums with the harmony of the heavens, and those who hear it cannot help but become enraptured by its melody and the wisdom it conveys. There are other reports I have uncovered which suggest that Malthale's demeanor has darkened over time, and that his voice has become chilling and can provoke thoughts of foreboding and feelings of angst. Again, we see the contrast associated with Malthale. Due to the Archangel's contemplative nature, it appears that he is slow to anger, but that has not restricted him from playing a crucial role in the internal conflict. In fact, Malthale is a peerless combatant, so in tune with the nature of all things that he can deflect enemy attacks with only the slightest use of force. He is said to derive his insight from Shalad Ar, the Chalice of Wisdom. This vessel is not like a cup of water that you or I would be familiar with. Rather, the chalice contains living light that can never be depleted. By peering into its depths, Melthel can see the web of connectivity that binds all things as one. I've heard tales of Melthel staring into the chalice for years on end in his quarter of the high heavens, the pools of wisdom. The pools are infinitely deep wells of emotions. Those who gaze into them see not their own reflection, but the sum total of the emotions that all sentient beings in the universe are experiencing at that moment. It is from these pools, I believe, that Malthel draws to fill his chalice. One intriguing fact concerning Malthel is that the darkening of his mood is said to have taken place in the years following Sanctuary's creation. Did the birth of Nephilim somehow cloud the Archangel's eyes from wisdom? Or did it open them to some new foreboding truth? Perhaps Malthael's change in demeanor is connected to his chalice and the visions he beheld there. Or perhaps there is a connection between the Nephilim and the chalice of which we are unaware. Unfortunately, we may never know. I have read troubling accounts that Malthael disappeared after the Worldstone's destruction. As I record this, I cannot help but to be reminded of the prophecy that wisdom shall be lost. I find it hard not to view Malthiel's sudden departure as yet another sign of the end of days.